fucking black. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, absolutely amazing. We have two matches left. It has come down to this. We have three people remaining. On the winner's side, waiting in the finals, is Billy the Machine Stubbs. And then on the loser's side, we've got Vince Saceda versus Colin Cummings. Now, uh, let's find out a little bit about these guys. Let's see what Colin has to say. Hello, my name is Colin Cummings. I am currently the number one ranked air hockey player. I've been playing air hockey for 14 years, and I currently reside in Honolulu, Hawaii. I like to do a variety of things. Currently surfing, hiking, playing with my cat, doing all kinds of stuff on the islands of Hawaii, and just hanging out with my family. Removing air hockey from the equation, I would definitely say I'm most passionate about my family and just my spiritual walk and definitely just making sure that I'm taking care of them and living a fulfilling life for Christ. I'd say the mythical ability that I'll be remembered for is probably my speed mixed with my puck control. I can definitely say that when players go up against me, my goal is to make them feel as unsteady as possible and just never give them a chance to rest. And there he is, ladies and gentlemen, Colin Cummings, the world champion, the number one ranked player in the world, the player with the highest MIDIC rating in the history of the sport, 2,614. He's got 15 titles under his belt, and he is a righty 6 foot 0, 72 inches. Danny, is Colin going to go all the way and take it you can't put it past him i mean he's he has the i guess the most championships out of what's left with what we have here but uh you know he's got a little bit of a path to go i mean yep. number one he's got to get through the bus you know mm -hmm. we're about to talk about here in just a second but uh uh yeah. colin is is playing really well uh yeah, I think Jose took him by surprise in that first round, the first right. first match woke of the day. Woke him up, woke him up. Yeah, woke him up. And uh, sometimes that's what has to happen. Yes, absolutely. And we'll see if uh, he might get put to sleep by the next guy, <laughs> uh, Vince Saceda. Let's learn a little bit about Vince. Hmm. Why, hello there, gang. My name is Vince Salcedo. I'm from San Antonio, Texas, and I've been playing air hockey since the 1900s. What do I like to do when I'm not playing air hockey? Well, air hockey brings me joy and happiness and great memories, so that's what I try to fill my life with when I'm not playing air hockey. Uh, joy, happiness, and great memories by way of my family, my friends, uh, folks who are appreciative. Uh, I like to travel, I like to play piano, I like to listen to music. I like to go to events and concerts and stuff like that. Try different restaurants, different foods. I'm all over the place. I'm just a happy-go-lucky, young and hard competitive junkie, and I am here today for the dopamine and adrenaline. Uh, what's well, something else I'm passionate about? If air hockey weren't in the picture, uh, definitely piano. Yeah, I'm self-taught over 20 years. I just enjoy making pleasing sounds for the eardrums with my piano. What mythological ability am I going to be best known for? Oh, well. Uh, I think the majority of folks will say my, my offense because it's it's slow, it's methodical, it's effective, efficient, and it's anxiety-inducing. I love what he said there about his offense, that it is anxiety-inducing. And that's something we've talked about a lot regarding Vince is that he will drift that puck and then pause and pause and pause, and you just feel like, ah, shoot the shot, please. Yes, yes, it's a, it's pain. Absolutely. It's pain to sit there and try to defend <laughs> Wait him. for it. Yeah. So, and he's the number two ranked player 
by the United States Air Hockey Association just behind his opponent. His Middick is 23-48. He's got four major titles. It, he has not got the big one, but he does have many state championship titles, and those are really hard to come by as well. He's six foot three and 77 inches wingspan, nicknamed the Bus. Yeah. Well, yeah. is he gonna is he gonna roll over, Colin? Well, I mean, let's see. I mean, he hasn't had a world yet because of Colin. Yeah. I mean, but that could be said for quite a few players yeah, here almost recently. Yeah, everybody. <laughs> um, you know, but but you know what? He's playing good. He's playing great. He's playing sharp. Uh, you know, very methodical in his approach. I mean, he yeah. he ran into a buzzsaw with Billy. Yeah. But who the heck hasn't here today? Sure. Uh, you know, but uh, I, I'm. I would love to see it. I, you know, I, I give the favor to Colin. I think right. I think he should win. Uh, but you know what? Let's see what happens. I mean, because guess what will happen if he does? Colin will be wide awake for August, baby, when the World Championships come, and that's what everybody wants. Absolutely. All right. Well, let's get down to table side and find out how this unfolds. The table is ready. Are you? Hmm. Wow. Jeez. I, I actually thought it was the other way around. It was so fast. I thought oh my gosh. Colin scored. That reach. Yeah. One that was amazing. One to one now. Hmm. Yeah, it really looked like Colin had first contact on that. Mm-hmm. Maybe he hit it into his mallet or something and it got redirected. It was wild. Kind Matt. of a stuff on the face-off. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So Vince should have an idea of how to play Colin. He's played him enough. He's played him a lot over the years. Yeah. But he just hasn't been able to put it together um, in the end. Uh, he, he has beat him one tournament set, is what Colin told me. Yeah, but if that's it, probably if, out of ten or something, you know. Yeah, yeah. He he, um, you know, was practicing in San Antonio while while uh, you know Colin was stationed, you know, uh, in San Antonio with the Air Force. And um, beautiful cut. Yeah, very nice cut. So they were practice partners and. You know, Vince's game, I think, got even better. But the problem is Collins got even better as well. So it's mm -hmm. it's nice to mm -hmm. be able to play the best all the time to be the best just because, you, again, iron sharpens iron. Right, guys? Yeah. Nice transition by Colin. Good get by Vince. Yes. Nice mm -hmm. left wall under. Mm -hmm. Good release up three to one now and a good block. Oh, he went for that uh, that cut, just barely yeah. missed it. Yeah, Colin, good discipline there on his defense. Great and he comes shot right by with a Colin. cut. Yeah, of his own. Well timed, good release on it. Oh, oh my God, it was a beautiful right wall over. Yeah, it's a beautiful right wall over by Vince. That's a shot I think he should do more of. Three, four. Nice yeah. by Colin. Yeah, cross straight. It was there. He just missed it. Yep, Colin yep. went to the went to the mm. the cross, and then Vince went right back right to back the same to shot. Yep. And Colin, he's like, I can do that too. <laughs> I can do that too, just a little quicker. <laughs> uh -huh. I think uh, Vince rushed that one. Yeah. Nice right. block. Nice. Oh, another shot. right wall over. Game point four. And a oh, stuff. And stuff to finish oh the game. Oh my god! I didn't see that one coming. I don't think Colin did either. Jesus. Seven to four. To take that game. Wow. That's a statement stuff. Yes. Very, very nice. Very well done. Very clever by Vince to take the first game. Yeah. And, you know, that, that could be what Vince needs. Absolutely. Well, yeah. I mean, I mean ultimately winning games is what he yeah, needs. Yeah, but, yes, course. I but, know what you but, mean. But, 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 but like yeah. to, to impose <laughs> his will, to kind of push yes. Colin – Say, uh, you know, hey, man, I'm going to push back. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Although I will tell you this, uh, 
after watching Colin for so many years now, when people start to push him on the table, he ups the game. He increases his speed. Uh, he takes it to another level. Yep. So let's see how this uh, how how he responds. Yes. Now, I'll say this about that. They're about to face off here. Nice face off by Vince there. Team possession. I'll say this about that. So I was also one known for being able to find that extra gear. Yes, you were. But after a while of not using that gear, you kind of lose it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he's got to be cautious there. Back in, uh, back in my day, um, <laughs> people would say that the beast would come out. That's right. You know, it's like suddenly you just turned something on in your head. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Mm, nice. Very good release. Yeah, yeah. And he just really sold the left side yep. of the, the table. One to one. Mm, oh, beautiful nice. transition, transition. Forehand left wall. That vent's completely out of place on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, you know, he gave up that game kind of dramatic fashion, but there's no hesitation here, and there's no right. And Collins uh, taking it to another level now. Yeah, beautiful shot, shot by yep. Vince. No, no panic is, you know, no. from what I've seen at all from no, Collins. Not at all. I mean, when you when you win a lot in in you know, Collins had to come to the losers bracket a few times, mm -hmm. and you know, he's had his share of adversity at times, even yes. though he's been very dominant, but. That was sideways. Yep, yeah. Yep. Good call by a referee there, uh, Anthony Marino. So you experience that adversity enough times, right. you Same you point. don't panic when it starts to happen. Right. You know, you're just like, okay, well, I've been here before. Yep. Been here, done that. Mm -hmm. Now, good good block by Colin. Yep. Same point. Oh, just barely missed. Almost like, almost like a pitcher in baseball. He really wanted to use that same puck. He liked it. Yeah. <laughs> so Vince has been caught out a number of times uh, and, and gotten banked on. Interesting. Yeah, so I would say, you know, that increased speed of the drifts. A little, oh, yeah. man, again, another he's, transition. Again, he's caught out. Yep. It's got to be ready. Yeah, mm -hmm. these slow shots that he's trying, these overs. I don't, I don't. I'm not sure that that's what I would be coaching uh, to do at this moment against Colin because he's just he's so steady on defense. Yep. Nice. Now that was good on Vince's yes, part. Yes. Good block. Right, and then grabbing it. Mm -hmm. Great yeah. shot Three, there. Five. Yeah. I think that's sort of what Vince needs to do is to. Just be very focused and uh, deliberate. Mm -hmm. A little hesitant yes. mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. a little hesitation. Mm. Nice mm. cross. Yeah. Six to four, Colin. Big moment here for Vince. He's got to try to keep that pressure on Colin. A number of off goals. Mm, almost another Play charge. Mm -hmm. Good block. I like the little push that he does here, that type of uh, setup. Yep. Oh, no. Good block, good discipline by Vince. Hmm. Colin kind of rushing that transition. I mean, you know, you live and die by it sometimes. Nice cut straight. Yep. Six five. Great block by Vince. Yeah, excellent block. That's Collins. A lot of times he uses that as a closer in games. Mm, good block by Colin. 
And Vince can maintain this this pace and timeout. Timeout by Colin. Yep. Probably a good timeout. Yeah. Sort of senses that, that Vince is keying in. I think it, uh, early in the game, Vince had a little bit of mental lapse, which again, you know, just let Colin get a few points in a row. It's just such a head start for this this guy. Can't do it. Definitely not. Yeah. Another cut straight to tie it. Oh my goodness. Wow. Ended up with a possession. This is huge. Over. Oh, I love it. Uh, he does the time. <laughs> He does the same. Uh, he does Collins' move against Collins, although yeah. I don't know that it's Collins' move because Vince always does it, so it's both of their move. Yeah, they both love doing it. All right, let's see what he does. Oh, I thought he was going the for the over. Yeah. yeah. Great, Great block. block. <laughs> All right, 6-6. Six, six. Huge point here for Vince if he can get it in. Oh, my gosh. He sort of tightened up. Yeah. He sort still, of tightened up. I think that cuts the answer here. Goes for the cross. Oh, Got it wow. Stuck it oh, my in. God. What a comeback. Oh. He was down 6 4. He came back and oh won that gosh. game. Oh, my gosh. That's now two games to zero. Vince Colin is one game away from being eliminated from this tournament. Eliminated from the showdown. But like you said, if that happens, this field better freaking watch out in August. That's right. There's nothing like a sleeping giant getting woken <laughs> up. A sleeping titan being awoken. Yes, and we got a few of those here. Yeah. So it'd be interesting because uh, Vince, uh, after watching him in challenge matches uh, a number of times recently, uh, he, he'll have a tendency to get up on people and then sort of go away from what's working. Um, his explanation for that, I'm not sure that, um, you know, it makes sense to me, but maybe he, you know, he says he kind of wants to feel the whole, he wants to see what else works, I guess. Yeah, I, I get it, except, again, you have to, you know, you can't do that here. No, here you've yeah. got to do everything you can to try to finish Colin off because yeah. he's not – Right. He's, he's not going to go down lightly. No, if no, you, not at all. If you allow him to win a game and start getting pumped up, you know, you're in trouble. Yep. Mm, that was a beautiful yep. little under. Yeah. Liked it. It was, it was great because it really sold that cut. Yep. yep. Beautiful. Yeah. All right, well, under. This is one of his bread and butter shots. Yeah. So hard to block. Looks like it's a left wall. And then it's a right wall. Good block by Colin. Mm -hmm. One to one. Colin needs to take control of this game. He needs one of those runs. He is so well known for. It. So that was that was just inaccurate. But he did not get behind Colin's mallet. No. no. It looked like it was going over, but Colin was there to block oh, yeah. it. Maybe, so, well, yeah. maybe that's it. Maybe that's yeah. what it was. Oh, oh great. Yeah, left, left wall. wall. Under. Mm. On pushing out, really wanting to get those, uh, get that straight. Nice left wow. wall over. Beautiful shot. <laughs> Another oh, left wall under. It's like I Colin. can't do a replay because Colin <laughs> keeps coming back and scoring so quick. Oof. Great get by Colin. Yeah. And a cut Four straight. Two. Yeah, this is, and this is two. what Colin does. He'll get yeah. a couple points in a row, and suddenly your 2 2 game is a 5 2 game. Yeah, oh, there you nice. go. That's way to answer by Vince. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got to D up, though. Yeah, he does, and he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Five, yeah, three. get caught out again yep. a little yep. bit. 5-3, Colin. Another oh, left five. wall under. Nice. Kind of another charge there. Got a yeah. piece of it, yeah. Okay, well, it's Vince's puck. Play puck. Wow. Mm, left oh, wall over. Left wall over. Blistering fast left wall over at that. 
Got to D up on Cohen, though. He's got it. It's a great block. He's got a chance to go up match point five if he can sink this puck in. I like that it was committed, at yeah. least. Just wasn't accurate. Oh, oh. got him to come out. Oh. Match point five, Vince. Then he comes back and it blocks a left wall under from Colin. Oh, my goodness. What a turn of events right now. Oh, that was uh, an interesting choice. Oh, charge! oh charge my God. For the win a from charge Vince. for the win? Holy smokes. Charge. We've never seen anything like that against oh Colin my Cummings. Gosh. Holy cow. The world champion has been knocked out of the showdown. Holy smoke. And knocked out three to zero. Three to zero. But like you say, um, you got to be careful uh, <laughs> because Colin has now got a little bit more motivation coming yeah. into Worlds. That's that was beautiful. Well, jo great Let, job by Vince. Let's chat with Vince about that amazing victory. Yeah. All right. Let's keep this short and sweet. I got to focus. Fair enough. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Well done. Yep. Uh, just tell me your thoughts. Uh, Billy. Okay. Those are you my thoughts. Focus now. about Billy. All right. Um, then I'll just say a few things. Uh, great job at executing your program and sticking with it. Yeah. That's all I'll say. And we'll see you in the finals. Thank you. Yeah. That's a man who is very serious about wanting to win this showdown. Um, and Danny, I don't know if you heard uh, what he said to me, but uh, he said, let's keep this short and sweet. I need to stay focused. I love it. And so uh, I said, well, then tell me your thoughts. He said, Billy, that's it.